Hey everybody, it's Fragger. He's back from our Fright of the Bumblebees. All the game score part two. We're in Act Two of the game. Where we left off. Morning, Valet. I'm a poo. May I have a word? Uh, Fifty gallons of honey by tomorrow. I want this place to be a hive of activity. But I'm It's your chance to show the world what sort of workers you are. Hard, sexy workers. They're certainly buzzing with excitement. But I'm tsh. Or maybe they're hungry. Did you remember to feed them this morning, Gromit? It's your job. Never mind, lad. I'll do it. So now, what we're going to do here is... There's a few things to do in the basement, but the first thing we're going to do is we are going to grab an achievement. And the name of that achievement is Memory Lane. Ah, now, this is, of course... from me rocket ship. Remember that moon holiday, Gromit? I blocked the docks. It was horrible. So, uh, there we go. Bam. Memory lane. Now, we're gonna go grab some flowers to go feed to the, uh, bees. Flowers. The perfect meal for a hungry hive. Now, we need to make sure we grab this remote while we're over here. The remote it's useful control later. for my sniffer 3000. Too bad about the teething problems. Still, this might come in handy. Too bad it's not an off switch. That might not be that handy. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to continue the YOW achievement of getting stung by just touching this. Ouch! Blinking eh? While the bees are out. So, now, what's next? We're going to start off the achievement of Bee Pleaser, which is feeding them flowers through the pollinator. We have to give them, uh total of four different kinds of flowers is the first uh, one. Bon appetit. Nom nom. Oh. Hmm. Not exactly a flood, is it? Fuck that. It's not even a trickle. Hmm. Flowers, Gromit. Obviously. The weak link in our production chain. We need more flowers. Hookers. Oh, flowers. Oh, I got hookers on the mind. find a whole lot of flowers in a hurry. Okay. So now we're going to do some collecting here. Well, after this little cutscene where he gets an idea of what to do. Might need that later. So, first thing we're gonna do is go into the wastebasket here, and that's going to have. Well, that's where the dog tags went. I'm sure Gromit will be glad to get them back. Which are useful towards the end of this act. Now we gotta go upstairs and grab something we're gonna use actually in this video. Mmm. Last night's bedtime snack. Gorgonzola makes a nice change from Wensleydale. It's actually a really good cheese. I love Gorgonzola. But yeah, you can see it was right there by the uh, lamp. Now what you gotta do next, you gotta go all the way downstairs, which is really easy, as you can see. It was so difficult. And we gotta go into the kitchen, where we're going to have an action take place, we're gonna get more cracking, and we're gonna pick up an item. Now what you wanna do is go to where the egg setter was in the first episode, switch back to Bash, and then tap. the auto hammer yesterday when I was cracking me walnuts. Wrong setting for eggs, I should think. I didn't know he was into that. So there we go. We got the second part of cracking. We got it in this episode. A nice cup of strongium tea ought to spark up the old gray matter. So uh, you do this, and then this motherfucker steals your your tea leaf. What a jackass! Okay, so we got one thing left to do in the kitchen, which is grab the stale toast. Grab the stale toast. Cold toast. Shame to let it go to waste. There we go. So now we are done inside. We're going to go outside and we're gonna initiate a whole shitload of cutscenes. Enjoy! Outside loading. Beautiful morning, Mr. Wallace. I'm pleased to see you've emerged from your subterranean lair. My character will work back up to 40 today. Been doing a spot of gardening, have you, Miss Blitz? 20 minutes later. Uh, right home. 
Yeah, that actually is a very long cutscene. Lots of talking and no interaction. So now that you've got these flower seeds, you have a blank patch of dirt over here. You should probably toss them in. And they're there. Now we're going to learn more about the plot. Enjoy! I wonder. Rex Armstrong's quick grow muscle formula. Watch them sprout in seconds. Hmm. If it works on people, perhaps I could adapt it to work on flowers. Makes perfect Three sense. Miracle ingredients. Grotein, energize, strongium. Well, I need a miracle and fast. It shouldn't be too tricky to knock up a batch myself. Then we'll see who's got the grandest garden in West Wallaby Street. The hive will be humming in no time. Yay! I want to point this out while I have a second here. I may be poking fun at this, but I absolutely love Walls and Gromit, the series in general, so I want to put that out there for you guys wondering. <laughs> we'll talk to him later. So, what we're going to do here is talk to a poo here for ah, a second. Mr. Wallace! Mr. Wallace, I've got something for you. Much obliged. That's a map section kind of useful. I don't know why there was no talking about it. Looks like... Can it really be... Cheese? Yep. Indeed it is, Wallace. Bensley Dale, your favorite. And this is actually for the mm, cheese achievement. The are... Yes. Free samples. When you buy something. Go on, duck in. Don't mind if I do, Mr. Paneer. One for now. Om nom nom. And one for later. There we go. Mmm, cheese. So we're going to take a quick look at that one. I don't know why we chose this one, but you see, we're three achievements in. Booyah. Found the secret cheese. It is delicious. So there's a few cheeses I actually haven't eaten. Now what we gotta do next, we have to go to the police station, which is across from him. As you can see, there's the constable over there. That walks slowly. Well, if it First, ignore him, place. go to the window, and I after like a good five to ten morning. minutes of uh, you lamenting your uh, robotic mouse, you control your character. What you wanna do is you wanna grab the cheese you just obtained. No joke. Take it. And you want to use it with the uh, cot. And you throw it underneath that. That is for a conversation to follow. In a little bit, at least. So more walking. Walk over to the constable. What you want to do is you want to talk about his hat. So look at him, and then go up. And it should highlight his hat. You may take it a few tries. Must be awfully hot under that helmet, I it's reckon. It's hot inside my day like today. helmet, too. It's a trifle sweltering, yes. But danger and discomfort are all in the line of duty for an officer of the law, though most folk don't appreciate it. So I have to beat it out to them. Now you want to do is you want to grab your gorgonzola, which is a shame to do this to gorgonzola, and you want to put it inside the helmet. Now it took me a few tries here, and I kind of fuck up, and I'm like, no, that's not what no. I wanted to do. I tried to use it on the door by accident. But take out the gorgonzola. Get to the helmet, which is in his arm, and then you, you, and with incredible snake-like stealth, put it in there. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Stealthy. Now, you want to do is go over to your petition and use it. I, I, I noticed you received my petition for early release of the Sniffer 3000. And framed it. Now, after a whole long conversation about it, he goes inside, and then we have another cutscene, of course. You there. Yes. Prisoner. Yes. Kindly look at me when I'm talking to you. And what you're going to have to do here is use your remote control to help him get out. And this is what happens. You want to set it to the Gorgonzola. He said, look at me. So you're going to make him look at him. That's more like it. Now you've had time to think, what can you tell me about what happened yesterday? Nothing. Feel bad about what you did, do you? Absolutely not. I feel great that I murdered everybody. Now you want to go to the Westling Dale. So it looks like he's apparently weeping. I guess. He's weeping. 
Maybe this contraption's got feelings after all. Oh my god, Skynet has taken over this mouse! Now, I want a truthful answer. If I release you from custody, Yay. will you do it again? Yes. I mean, no. Damn it. So what you want to do is select Rotterdam, which there's none of, so he does this. I'll be dead. Yes, you are. The prisoner has been interviewed. Yes. And having exhibited signs of repentance, I am prepared to release you into your protective custody. Provided, Great. Wallace, you give me an assurance that you'll keep your blinking eye on him. Is that blinks? Or whatever he answers to. Vehicular manslaughter. I'll keep an eye on him, Constable Dibbins. You have my word on that. Of course you do. And that's going to end this video. So, the only thing we have to do left that you can do while you wait for the next video, or see the next video, is just go back to the street. And we'll see you there. But you know where I'll see you? On AchievementHunter.com. See you guys later. Bye-bye.